This is the moment Russia claims to have stopped a major Ukrainian offensive in Donetsk, one of the four Ukrainian regions Moscow illegally annexed since the war began. Moscow says it was an attempt to break through its defences in what Kiev reportedly considers the most vulnerable part of the front line. As a result of the skillful and competent actions of the eastern group of forces, the losses of the armed forces of Ukraine amounted to more than 250 personnel, 16 tanks, three infantry fighting vehicles and 21 armoured fighting vehicles. Ukraine has vowed operational silence around its long-awaited counter-offensive, and the country's deputy defense minister says the claims are being used to distract attention from Russia's losses in the continued fighting near Bakhmut. Why are the Russians actively releasing information about a counter-offensive? Because they need to divert attention from the defeat in the Bakhmut direction. This video, published by the Ukrainian Armed Forces, allegedly shows the military destroying Russian positions close to Bakhmut. Ukrainian forces have been counter-attacking the city for weeks. Head of the Wagner Group, whose fighters captured Bakhmut last month, says Ukraine is advancing and he's blamed Russia's senior generals. The troops are quietly running away. What a disgrace. Shoigu, Gerasimov, I urge you, go to the front line, pick up a gun and make the troops stand and move forward. In more bad news for Moscow, a group of pro-Ukrainian fighters have claimed another cross-border raid in Russian territory, capturing Russian soldiers and taking part of a nearby city. Britain's Foreign Secretary James Cleverly met with President Vladimir Zelensky in Kiev. Zelensky thanked him for the UK's continuing support. For weeks, Ukraine has been training on newly donated equipment for its offensive to retake captured territory. Russian claims that it has started cannot yet be confirmed. But the silence of Ukrainian officials and growing evidence of unusual movement along the front line suggests a new phase of the fighting may have begun. Julie Dager, TRT World.